Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have the Grail Knight with Joy. Someone wants to revisit here uh, something from the past, possibly wanting uh, or longing here to feel uh, the way that they did before. I see that there's some acknowledgement or uh, they're definitely assessing here, okay? And it's becoming overwhelming. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to uh, get back in your good graces, but to really feel the way that it was before. Overall energy with the Seven of Pentacles. This is about investing here as well as uh, reaping what we sow. Okay, so let's see... I just heard patience, patience, patience. Let's see what's going on in your energy this week. Yeah, someone's really missing you here. Almost realizing uh, the joy that you bring to their life. You may not have seen that before. The very thought of you brings joy. Uh, Eight of Wands, Death, Ace of Wands. This is a pivotal week for you. So if you kind of felt like lately things are not, haven't been going in your favor or things have just been kind of off, maybe uh, some of you have felt down as well because you feel the winds of change coming, especially some huge decisions that possibly you've had to make here within the last uh, two and a half months. It looks like uh, this is a great week where you start to feel inspired. You start to feel like, okay, I can take action on this. This door closed, but this door opens. And it's the enthusiasm of the unknown is what I'm seeing here. So things turn in your favor, whatever you decide to uh, take action on. And it really does pick up the momentum fast, okay? I do see in regards to your person, you feel like you kind of just want to leave it in the past, okay? It's done and over with, but, uh, you know, somehow you feel energetically it just keeps drawing you back in. Uh, you try not to think about this person, but I see someone's trying to uh, manifest here and use the law of attraction to get you uh, to think about them. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your person's energy. Four of Cups, King of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Yes, this person is missing you dearly. They're longing for you here. And they're feeling uh, lackluster, you not being in their life anymore. They're feeling as well uh, so disappointed in themselves. The fact that uh, they kind of lost this chance with you. Tell with the Four of Cups. Sun hanged man. Yeah, this is the realization that they know that what they've done, okay, that uh, possibly this have, could have turned out a different way if they had chose differently here. Tell about the three of wands. Wheel of fortune, three of wands. They're trying to keep positive and look towards uh, better days ahead where things would turn in their favor. There might be a chance for you two to work together here, but it's going to take a big drastic change. This could be distance as well uh, in the physical sense or emotional, uh, having to bridge that gap, really opening up from their heart space and exposing themselves here. So let's see what's gone on in the past. We have Seven of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So I see there wasn't a lot of answers to some questions that you were possibly wondering about uh, this person. Could be their intentions, why they acted the way that they did. It just didn't seem to make sense. And you were always trying to kind of put your finger on it. Why they were acting kind of different or weird here, right? It almost felt like they were so happy in the situation, even though there was nothing going on at times or possibly left in limbo. Even if there's not a lot of communication, you couldn't figure out why they were happy. Why, if you care about someone or love them, don't you want to talk to them? Don't you feel the urge to just think about them all the time? And then when you get a chance or a break, you just want to uh, contact them. Uh, it just didn't make sense, right? You kind of felt like their intentions were not very clear. Some of the Ace of Swords. 
Ten of Swords. Yeah, you might have felt like as well this person stabbing you in the back that you just knew they were doing something behind your back here. Four of Pentacles. And you got really tired of uh, dealing with these uh, questions, okay? And really feeling anxious as well as upset emotionally. Uh, I see for some of you all the time. It's like the minute you would think about them, it would just make you sad or depressed here. Uh, I do see that this person, you know, they did have that emotional connection with you. They did connect with you deeply. Uh, but the only thing that they showed you was mainly their ego, right? So they're showing up six of wands, seven of cups that I can do anything I want. I can present myself with it however I want. And I can contact whenever I want because I know who I am and this person's not going anywhere and I deserve everything. It's kind of like this uh, ego at the forefront that really put a damper on this connection. Tell me the six of wands. Yeah, the only thing is what's hiding underneath is that this person fears putting in work, putting in uh, and, and hard work in this connection, dedicating themselves, giving it their all, because they fear if they invest so much into it, what if it doesn't work out? What if I don't uh, really step up and be the person that they think I can be? What if I fail in some type of way? So that's what was fueling this ego. And uh, they didn't want you to see that they were scared or fearful at all. They wanted to act confident and really uh, portray themselves as uh, they're on a pedestal. So let's see what happens in the challenge. We have the Fool, Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah. So this person really wasn't seeing your side of things. But as the Fool card here, they don't like to be tied down because there is this fear of failure. That possibly they're just not good enough here in the Five of Pentacles. Their self-worth is, uh, you know, at a point where they feel like they don't deserve things. They don't deserve love. Right? They have this schema going on where they really think that... You know, they're just not that type of person that should be in a committed situation. Okay, and I do see the Nine of Cups. It seemed too good to be true, right? And when this person actually got into this connection with you, they felt like you were their wish fulfillment. They felt drawn to you here. You kind of took them by surprise a little bit, and they put up the guard and put up this facade that, you know, they were cool as a cucumber, and they were on a pedestal. You're lucky to be with me. You're constantly getting uh, this kind of energy, right? And so with communication here, it seems almost lackluster when they would talk to you. It seems like they were not interested at times and their energy could be kind of cold and cutting here. And it's like they just kind of ignored the fact that you were in this connection. And I know this sounds weird, but what I'm seeing here is they knew you what you needed from them and affirmation more talking to them on a normal kind of not daily basis but really keeping up with uh connecting with you they knew this but they chose not to and it's just like they purposely would kind of change the subject or act as if it didn't exist that you didn't have feelings that you didn't have a voice and it's like they push this narrative with their ego to make you conform. So it really is kind of a manipulation here. Uh, tell us the full card. Three of Cups. For some of you, there could be a third party. I have to say it when I see it. Uh, or this person does tend to like to go where the fun is. Okay, the excitement here, that's what keeps the adrenaline going. They don't like to be responsible for other things. Or take the time to actually think about making a decision or committing to something because they really fear that they will succeed. Also, a lot of them uh, could like to go out with friends a lot. That could have been a barrier as well uh, that they kind of put their friends as a priority instead of you. And not for everyone though. Tell me the Five of Pentacles. Four of Wands. It just was no stability here. This was a completely... 
uh, roller coaster type of situation. It was like up and down, and it seemed like it messed with your emotions so much that you couldn't, by the end of this, tell which way was up and which way was down. You just knew you were so tired of it that it actually became less attractive to you. This person, it was like they were really making it hard to care about them and love them as much as you did in the past. Okay, so let's see what action they take here this week. Three of Swords, Moon, Six of Pentacles. Okay, tell me about the moon. Chariots. Okay, so what I see happening here is we have a shift in energy. It's almost like a, a change where they're taking their misery and sadness here for losing the best thing in their life and they're, they all of a sudden turn it around into something else. And they're taking action here uh, to reciprocate or do something for you that has been needed for a long time. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say to you moving forward as well as the timing and the outcome. But if this is your last stop, thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you guys dearly and I'll see you next time.